Next, good morning. So, in the video, we will talk about very, very important concepts in a programming language in the data types. So, the data types are being the end of the type of data we use. But normally, we have a keyboard part. We have a program with some process, some certain kind of inputs. So, the input classification and then so data types are being so But I'm a good input on the number of number or clam, even so whole number or clam or fractional number or clam, or maybe alphabets or clam, it may be lowercase, uppercase letters, or maybe special characters or clam. So, in the matter, different variety of inputs. So, when the email ID could go, for example, on the penny or email ID in a good ring or dinner, if or something or name or the couple of it's a name, it's a combination of underscore and uh, alphabets, uppercase and lowercase letters and digits. Combinations, then there is a ad symbol, there is a special character, then there is a domain. For example, gmail.com, yahoo.com, yahoo.co.in, ymail.com, uh, so even redifmail.com. So, like there are different kind of domain. So, on the domain, we use one. Okay, okay. So, we the one thing. So, in the matter, then we could create inputs or characters. So, then we define other data, different varieties are defined under the data type of being other. So, simple if you are saying data type means it's a type of data we are going to use. Upon number of calculation, in a type of data number use pandra of being other indicate pandra the data types are being other solo. Okay, so normally in Python, there are different type of data types would be supported one for handling number and one for handling strings, and one for handling boolean, and uh, this is for uh, representation for the single value. And for storing the collection of value, there are different data types we have, one is called a list, tuple, dictionary, and set. So normally there are seven data types will be supported in Python. So one is for, I mean, for storing a single value, there are three data types we have followed. One is uh, numbers, strings, and boolean. And for storing multi values, we can use a list, tuple, dictionary, and set. So these are the different possible representations. Okay, so normally in Python, uh, so for numbers in mathematical terminology, we call as a whole number. Whole number means the number is not having any decimal point, uh, but actually in technical, in programmatically, it will be called as integer. In program wise, it will be referred as a integer. That means program wise spoken of in a intenda solono. Okay, so mathematically, then you have intense, but uh, technical word is you should not use the word whole, you have to say it is int. It means the number is not having any decimal point. Another one end up in a number representation that is called as fractional number or maybe the real number, it will be referred as flow. Okay, just to be before that, just to be hard a discussion. And just when I put Python compile and open panirkin, just I can show in demo. For example, just I'm going to define a number. If I want to know what is a data type, but we know that it is a 23, so it is a number. The 23 is the parina, it is a number. So it's not a fractional number. So render type whole number, fractional number. So here the 23 is a whole number. So that it is coming under integer. Sorry, it is a coming under integer. See that it is a class belongs to integer data type. So the class on the integer flow. So not only you can give any number. So like this, just I'm going to be given a number and you're trying to find a type. So it is belongs to it, sorry. Uh, it is belongs to integer. let this even within the bracket also, you can type the numbers. It is belongs to integer. Okay, okay. In case, if I'm going to give us some fractional numbers. So in a fractional numbers could take so it's a decimal point. So this is a right side number. So it's a, there are two possible type either whole or the fractional number or so technically either integer or the float or so in the whole numbers. So that I'm trying to find the type. So fractional dot the decimal point so that it might be coming at a fraction. Fractional means it is in the technically it will be referred as a flow. So it shows that it is a float representation. So then, uh, so then even it didn't need to put the tailor, but even if you want, you can do like this. So I'm going to represent like this, and it is also coming under the category of a flow. Okay, so in some, okay, if I'm trying to give one like this, so something one, two, three point four, five point six, uh, but unfortunately, uh, so here uh, there is a two, I mean, mistakenly it represents a two decimal point for the given number, uh, so that we are unable to represent it as a decimal point. 
So because I am not following the proper syntax, uh, because one number la ila dunno abhi na it must have only one decimal point. But unfortunately here I typed as a two decimal point for one number, so that it makes an error message. I think all of you know that now. So if you are not following the proper format, then it will be called as I mean, sir, uh, if the syntax error will be thrown because we are unable to convert it. If we are not given in a specific format, so that the syntax error will be displayed. So that the syntax error will be displayed as a invalid syntax because I mistakenly I typed as a two decimal point for a one number. Okay, so uh, so this is the information you must to understand, and that uh, memory representation is very very important for uh, representations. Okay, I told that you no, know, there are three data types for representation for storing a single value. One is for number, strings, and boolean. So for every data type, we must to understand how many memory bytes we need for storing a value. Now uh, I will repeat once again. So this is for storing a single value, so that we must to understand how much amount of memory bytes needed allocated for every value. And so so here, uh, just uh, I can I can represent the uh, different programming languages uh, like C, C plus plus, Java, and Python. Here our motto was we are going to learn only on a Python, but just to same side by side, just we are comparing with. C also, okay. Uh, so it is a so integer. Uh, it is a memory byte. It is a two bytes for integer, and for signed, uh, it is a signed representation. So we know that no, it is a signed representation. Uh, for a sign, one byte will be allocated. One bit will be allocated for a sign, and for value, uh, it is a two byte. So that the fifteen bits will be allocated for. Um, means fifteen bits allocated for a value. So that the range is varies from uh, it is a minus so minus two power thirty one. Uh, so two power thirty one to two power thirty one. So two power thirty one minus one. So this is a range. So already we discussed about it. Uh, so so that uh, and uh, we just we are represent on. Uh, so just a minute. Two uh, power thirty one. So two two power thirty one. Ah, uh, so just a minute. Ah, uh, I'm going to represent this. So we know how to calculate a number. I mean, so uh, the ranges. I think the uh, memory representation itself uh, we discussed. The same thing just I'm going to represent. Okay. So the next term is. Uh, okay. Now I'll move on to the next one. Uh, for C plus plus also C plus plus means it's the extension version of C. So that the same memory will be allocated in Java. So that is an integer is that. So that for memory which is a four bytes. Uh, so memory bytes is a four bytes. It is a signed representation only. So it is a signed representation. So that for a sign, one byte will be allocated. Oh, sorry, one bit will be allocated. Value it is a four byte. Four into eight, thirty-two. So that the thirty-one bits so for representation for the value. Okay. Uh, so that uh, the range is very uh, small. Correction, see here. It is uh, two power fifteen, not two power thirty-two. Mistake like represent as a two power thirty one, so it is a two power fifteen. Uh, so this is the uh, range, uh, but for in Java, uh, it is a, a signed representation, so that minus two power thirty one to two power thirty one minus one. So this is the range. Uh, in Python, uh, actually the different varieties of that. Uh, so for a minimum number of bytes, it by sorry, it is a twenty eight bytes, uh, and maximum bytes. For a maximum byte is four not two bytes. That is the range. So that is a major difference between uh, um, other languages and Python. Uh, so it will be represented for a signed category. Uh, so for a minimum ranges, uh, so for a minimum category, uh, so the sign will be allotted for one bit and the remaining so value bit for it's a twenty eight. So Uh, so uh, just a minute. Uh, so it is uh, 28 into 8. So 223 bits allocated for value. So 223 bits allocated for value. So that we can easy to understand that uh, formula. I mean, so uh, for a minimum ranges, we can easy to find out the range. 
it is easy to find out the range. Uh, so for a minimum, uh, the minimum range is uh, it is a negative value, so that it is a two power minus two power two twenty three to two power uh, that is a two power two twenty three minus one. So this is the range for a minimum value. This is the range we are going to do. I mean, uh, the ranges and for the maximum categories also we have. So for a maximum value. As usual, it is a sine is one bit, and the value was uh, for a sine it is a one bit will be allocated, and value for it is a four not two bytes. Uh, so the three to one five. So value for representation of the three to one five bits are represented by value. So here I everything represented as a bits. So that for the maximum cases, so in that level, pathinga bina maximum under pathinga bina minus two power. There is a maximum value range that is called three to one five two. So two power two. Sorry, three to one five. Minus one. So this is the maximum range is value. Uh, so this is the range for the maximum number of bytes. So minimum twenty eight bytes allocated. The maximum four not two bytes allocated for integer. Uh, next to for unsigned integer. Again for it is a two bytes. Uh, so it is for unsigned representation. Uh, so here uh, no sign bit. So no sign bit and for value. Entire sixteen bits will be allocated. Entire sixteen bits will be allocated for a sign, so that the range varies from we know that now. So range varies from zero to so zero to two power sixteen minus one. Uh, so here also same thing. See, uh, I think already I mentioned that C plus plus is the extension version of C, so that the same will be allocated. Um, so in Java, so there is no sign of the representation, so not applicable. In Python also like that, not applicable. And for a uh, short. Uh, so uh, there is a representation we have that is called short also two bytes, um, but we don't have a representation for uh, okay sure, we can finish short, uh, but it is the same thing. It is a two bytes here also same. So here also same. It is a two bytes. So it is a two bytes, but actually it is a signed representation. Short is a signed representation. So that uh, for a sign bit, uh, one will be allocated. Sign bit, uh, one bit will be allocated for a sign and value equal to fifteen. So that uh, the same thing will be used here also. Uh, so in Java also same thing, short. Uh, but in Python we don't have any short data type. It is not applicable. Okay, I'll move on to the next one. That is called byte representation. Uh, we don't have any byte representation in C++. Uh, C++. It is a not applicable, no support, and same way for C++ also no support. But in Java, it allocates for only one byte, but it is a signed bit allocation. So that uh, uh, signed bit must be as uh, one bit, and for value, seven bits will be allocated. So that the range varies from minus two power um, seven to two power seven minus one. Okay, so the same thing. Uh, only that the number of value which is very very important. Uh, so uh, uh, here also uh, there is a, uh, it is varies from two power seven to minus two power seven to two power seven minus one. Uh, but in Python there is no short and long also. 
it is not applicable. Uh, but long, it is eight bytes will be allocated. Sorry, four bytes will be allocated in C. Uh, so it is signer representation. Uh, it is a four bytes. It is a thirty-two. So that for a sign bit, it is a one, and for a value bit, uh, so it is a thirty-one bits will be allocated. So we know how to calculate for this. So it is a signer representation. So it will. Uh, it's a minus two power thirty-one to two power thirteen. So it is also same. Uh, in java also same but only thing is it is a eight bits will be allocated in java so that uh, 63 bits for representation value so that the range varies from 2 power 63 to minus, minus 2 power 63 to uh, 2 power 63 minus 1 so this is the format we have to use but in python there is no representation for long and also for representation of the number it will support only one data type that is called as int so it will support only for an integer, uh, but remaining so not but just this to only for the comparison purpose. Uh, and another one for representation of uh, whole numbers. Another one more thing also we have to number for representation of the fractional, uh, representation of the fractional number. For representation of the fractional number, uh, so another one more data type also we have to support that is called float and double. Uh, actually in Python, we have only one data type support that is called num, uh, decimal. So I'm going to float and as well as double. Uh, but actually uh, these signed verifications only applicable for fractional number only or whole number only. For a float in C language, it is a four by. It is always must be a signed representation, but actually the different characteristics we have, uh, so that uh, not this uh, range cannot be you know, means uh, method. It's not applicable for this. There is a different methodology we need to follow. We will discuss it later part. And here also same thing. It is a four bytes in C plus uh, plus. In Python, uh, sorry, uh, in Java, it is also four bytes. It is a signed representation. Signed representations only. Also, the ranges have a different methods. Uh, so here, uh, it is a similar to that uh, value method. Uh, so, so minimum it is a twenty-eight by sorry uh, for minimum it is a twenty-four bytes, uh, and maximum it is a four not two bytes. Uh, but it is a only signed representation. Uh, and uh, the ranges also have a different methodology we have to follow. And for a double, uh, small corrections. And for a double, uh, it is a eight bytes will be allocated. It is also as a signed representation. Uh, in C, uh, C++ also, it is a signed representation. Uh, so here also eight, it is a signed representation. Here, the double data type is not applicable. Okay, so in character, uh, in Python, in C++, it is a one bit will be allocated. It is a signed representation. Uh, so that now we know the signed representation. It is a similar for, uh, that is for a uh, uh, sign bit to one and the value bit is seven will be allocated. So we know that the range that is called 2 power minus 2 power 7 to 2 power 7. That is normally the ASCII table which is varies from 0 to 1. We will discuss later part. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, actually I forgot to talking about string before to discuss about that. Okay, just I'm going to discuss about now. Um, okay, so now you have uh, some clear idea about the number. Uh, so in Python, the numbers in technically for whole numbers are represented by int and the fractional numbers uh, fractional numbers. Mm -hmm. uh, so in fractional number, it will be represented by the keyword. It's called as a flow. Okay. So the next one is for representation of alpha. For representation of alphabets, uh, we can use the terminology as a string. Uh, string means that it is a combination of alpha numerics and as well as a special characters. Even just you can look on to the keyboard. Uh, in that there are different kind of an alphabets we have. Um, even like it may be in a lowercase letter or maybe uppercase letter. Along with that, uh, maybe some uh, digits also there. It is varies from zero to nine. 
and also there are a set of special characters of that like uh, uh, single quotes double quotes ambrosian symbol alt hash dollar plus minus starts open parentheses like that it will be called as a special characters so normally the strings are represented only in single quotes or maybe in double quotes in python it will be called as that means it will be used the keyword as str str always to represent for character strings and for uh, uh, and also the string representation in python will be called as unicode representation it means that with the help of this we can able to represent the other type of languages also for example if you uh, if you know uh, okay before that uh, just like i can go into discuss about uh, different thing then can i can uh, go with the, i can explain the concept of unicode representation so the question is how can you represent the alphabets and the special characters in memory so we know that uh, that my values uh, values are stored in the memory in terms of zeros and ones uh, but we have alphabets but we are unable we must to know how to convert this alphabets into zeros and ones so for that there is a one standard will be we, we have to follow that the method is called as ascii the ascii standard will be called as american standard code for information interchange so it will be defined by ansi Uh, so this is a common for all the programming languages. Uh, always the task means that the strings, that is alphabets, alpha numerics, and uh, uh, special characters are always represented in memory or stored in a memory with the help of this ASCII format. And so far, just uh, programming and understanding purpose. Just I am going to define only the few of the ASCII codes. Um, so if you want to represent uh, a capital A, the risk of uppercase letter A in a memory. Uh, the equivalent ascii value is 65 it means that it is a, the equivalent decimal number is a 65 so the equivalent binary value of the 65 will be stored in memory according to that memory capacity it will be stored uh, so uh, so that uh, the, uh, for upper case letter uh, the ascii values varies from uh, 65 to 60 i mean so for a 65 b 66 so that it will be increased and next uh, and then uh, subsequently And so that the capital letter value is 90. If you are moving, uh, incrementing like that. And for lower case letter, for a small a, the ASCII value is 97, and b is 98. So like that, it will be increased. And for a small letter, it will be as 122. And also there is another digit representation also there. So if I mean to see, uh, so for digit representation, uh, it is a zero for 48 and one for 49. Like that, it will be increased up to nine. So, if in a string, if you are representing one zero, it will be treated as a one as a separate digit and zero as a separate digit. But in in numerical, uh, I mean in numbers, it will be treated as a single value. Okay, let us take a one example. I am going to represent ECE twenty in memory representation. So, uh, but it is an alphabet note. So, there we must to know uh, in a, if you want to store everything in a memory. First of all, we have to convert into Memory means that uh, there is for uh, um, zeros and ones. I want to convert into zeros and and ones. So if you want to convert zeros and ones, uh, we must to know the equivalent value for E C every alphabet in the string. So that uh, the equivalent ASCII value for E that is a capital E. So that the capital E C sixty seven. So D sixty eight. E sixty nine. So sixty nine. For C it is a sixty seven. And again for V it is a sixty nine, and uh, for two fifty, and for zero it is a forty eight. So yeah, uh, it's uh, and very very important the strings are represented in single quotes or maybe a double quotes. I can show you a demo. Uh, for example, just I'm going to represent one string. I am from CSC department. So see here, uh, just see here. I represented everything in uh, double quotes, so that if you are representing any value inside of the double quotes, it will be called as a string. Let us see that there is a representation. Just I am going to represent. See that it shows that the type of this variable yes is str category. Str means that it is a string category. So yes belongs to string category. Okay. Uh, not only like that. If, if if you want, you can represent single quotes also. Uh, for example, I am in. Second floor. Just yes, I'm going to represent. I'm trying to find the type of this variable. It is also belongs to SQL. So in Python, you are representing a string either in single quotes or double quotes. It will be treated as a string. I told that the string is a combination of alpha numerics and special characters. 
Okay, for example, if I'm going to represent 123, but many of them have a confusion to understand that here just I represented these digits in double quotes so that it will be treated as a string. Clear? So, for example, I'm going to say that type of yes, it is a string category. But if I'm going to represent like that and I'm trying to find the type, it is a belongs to number because here I didn't represent either in single quote or double quotes so that it is not belongs to string. But it is a number, so that uh, there is, it's a number category. There are two possibilities, either fractional number or whole number. So the given category is a whole number, so that the equal number, the class type is integer. Is it clear? So even if you want to like, do like this, uh, so I am securing 12th rank in my cutoff. Uh, uh, in my engineering cutoff, that is a string I'm going to represent, and I'm going to uh, give us some dollar symbol for just understanding. Enter. So see that it is a combi. Even the spaces also will be considered. It is a special characters. So is it clear? The spaces also will be counted. Okay, I am securing twelfth rank, so it consists of uh, uh, alphabets. These are alphabets. It may be a combination of lowercase and uppercase letters. And there is a digits are there, and there is a special characters are there. I am trying to find the type of this variable B. It is belongs to string. So whatever the content you have, if it is represented in a single code, it will be considered as a string. Okay, so now you have an idea about a string. So the strings are represented either in single quotes or maybe in a double quotes. So in Python, the equivalent keyword representation is str. And so, uh, actually, it is for a represent. It is also called as a Unicode representation in Java and Python. It will be called as Unicode representation. So normally, that means that alphabets will be stored based on the ASCII format. So, for example, here my format is EC20. Uh, so, uh, so every digit uh, in a string, each and every character will be uh, will be stored separately. Even the space, each and every spaces also will be countable one. So here it is a 69. So that, uh, just you can find that a binary value for a 69. So that binary value for 69 is uh, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, um, 1. So this is the equivalent binary value for 69. And same followed by 67. So 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. So this is the equivalent binary value for uh, 67, again 69, 100, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. So six, for 69, 50, uh, for a 50, 32, 16, 4, 2, 1. This is for 50 and 48. So this is the equivalent format for uh, um, 48. But uh, it is very standard format. Uh, so assume that the mem I mean to that uh, if, uh, for assume then every character every character occupies one byte of memory assume that every character occupies one byte of memory so that here we have a uh, five bytes sorry five characters are there so that uh, number of character I mean to the total memory equal to Total memory equal to the number of characters into size of the memory. This is the formula on which we have to use the size of memory for one character. Uh, so here the number of characters is seven. The memory for allegation of one character is one. So that the seven bytes of memory will be allocated. Okay, so uh, sorry, the number of character is five, small correction. It is a five, so that the five bytes of memory will be allocated for this. Now I'm going to store it in five, uh, uh, just a representation. It is a number of column is uh, five, five, forty. It is a one byte, so that uh, uh, five, five, forty columns I need and two rows I need. As you know, this is a representation I have. 
Uh, so every eight bytes will be called as a string. Uh, so it is a one byte, the eight bits is a combination of one byte. Okay, I can represent in uh, uh, Excel, that's from it. I can store everything in Excel so that it will be easy to understand. So this is the memory bytes are like needed for storing this string. Um, so another important thing is uh, here, um, so it will be recorded in the form of binary values only. So, but it's a eight bit. So one bit allocated for sign for a character, all the MSP sign bit must be zero. So here uh, the format is, I'm going to store, e, it's in a continuous. So E, C, E, two and zero. So this is the format I'm going to store. Uh, so we know that no for e the equivalent value is 69 that means equivalent binary value is 69 and for it is 67 and for e it is also as a 69 and for 2 it is uh, 50 and for 0 it is a 48 and please try to understand that the strings are represented only in a code so that it will be treated as a separate character so here the strings are represented in single code so that you must treat two zero is separately it is not a single digit so just i'm going to represent so all the msp character must be uh, means the value as a zero so we know that now uh, so all the uh, string character must have a past representations only so all the MSB must be with zero. The reason is uh, the characters, so, uh, means the design bit of your character representation must be a positive thing. So that it will be represented as a positive. Uh, so this time I'm going to represent it as uh, uh, zero. So now I'm going to represent 69. So the 69 value is 100101. 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. So we have to convert in the seven bits value. So just you can see that three, four, five, six, seven, that is a seven bits we there. So uh, we have so that uh, it will be that uh, represent this 100, 0, 0, um, 64, 32, 16, uh, 8, uh, 4, Zero, 01. So this is the representation for E. Uh, I can repeat once again. This is the representation V that is the uh, value for 69. And same also I want to represent. So it is for uh, uh, 67. Same again 69. So it will be stored. And try to understand that the, uh, in a string, everything the value means that the memory will need to be allocated only in continuous manner because string means that it is a group of characters. So that the memory need to be allocated continuously. This is the value we need to represent. And for 67, uh, so this is 1 and this is 0. And for 50, uh, 64, 32, 16. 8, 4, 2, 1. This is for 50 and for 48, 32, 16, 8, 4. So this is a binary value. So this is the way the characters need to be represented in memory. So totally we need a 4 byte, I mean so that is called 40 bytes. And for every uh, it's a bit, so that we are going to store only in the bits format. Okay, so now uh, just uh, let us do uh, one. Let, uh, let's uh, we have go for a character representation so that for every character the memory will be allocated only on continuous manner. Then followed by the Boolean. Uh, so uh, uh, just I can uh, go to the concept of uh, memory allocation for the data time. It is a character. It is a one byte representation so that it varies from two power minus seven to two power seven. Uh, so it is unsigned categories also there, uh, but actually in Java, it is a two bytes will be allocated. So that the sign bytes are one and for running 15 bits allocated for 
characters and so that it is a 2 power minus 15 to 2 power 15. Uh, but one thing everyone has been known that uh, in Java, the character representation will be called as Unicode representation, uh, but actually it is not applicable in Python. There is a single representation of character. Uh, so there is a string in Python, it will be called as str. Uh, so we don't have uh, any str category in java uh, in c it is not applicable in c language it is not applicable so it is not for applicable in c and as well as java actually we have to represent as a list that is called array uh, we can do it as an array um, but here we have a string data type we have in python um, but it depends on user, the size depends on user defined number based on number of characters. Uh, so that uh, it is an ASCII format only. Um, but here, uh, minimum. Uh, so in Python, the minimum size of STA character is 49 bytes. It is a 49 bytes uh, plus number of characters. It's based on number of characters. So uh, it's a signed representation only. It is the same as, uh, as characters. For one by, I mean, so, and also for every character, it uh, takes uh, two bytes. Every character occupies two bytes of memory. So that in Python and Java, it will be called as Unicode representation. So these are the different possible ways we can use the string concept also. Then for Boolean, actually for Boolean, uh, there is a, uh, we can represent either true or false. So normally we can use the keyword as a bool uh, for representation of your Boolean. Uh, it is not applicable in uh, uh, C language. There is no Boolean data type supported in C language. In C and C++, there is a numerical representation we have uh, for true or false. Um, so, but actually here, no numerical representation for Boolean values, no numerical representation for numerical representation for Boolean values. This is very, very important. Actually in C and C++ and all we have a numerical, uh, we have a numerical representation, but in C and I mean, so in Java and all, there is no, no numerical representation. One byte will be allocated, but it must be as a two or false only. Uh, so it is a two or false. Only the two possible combination that is either two or false. In Python also, uh, actually uh, in Python, 28 bytes will be allocated. That is a waste of the memory also. Uh, so here also we have only the two possibilities, either true or false. This is called Boolean values. We call it as Boolean values. Okay, now just let us take, uh, discuss with this. Uh, so I'm going to say it is a true. Uh, sorry, it is a keyword. It is a true. Just I'm going to find the type. It is a Boolean characters. Even not only like that, even if this you can represent like this, P R U G. Uh, uh, actually, it is a name error because uh, that it is a keyword, so that the first letter must be caps. For a true and false, the first letter must be caps. Uh, so if you are trying to find the value of this uh, data type of this, yes, this you can use. see that your class classification it is coming as a boolean. So um, so that the memory bytes is a 28 bytes will be allocated for that for finding a memory. So if you want to know about the memory size, this you can uh, uh, use the function as uh, get uh, get, uh, uh, get ID. Uh, so uh, that is called the uh, sorry get size of. Uh, so just I'm going to find the get size of. Uh, sorry, it is belongs to the uh, sys module. So sys dot. Uh, we will discuss about this some methods in later part. Just you can try to understand the how much memory will be allocated for that. So that is an indeed dot. So that maximum it is a four not two bytes will be allocated. So four not eight it means that it is a maximum number of bytes allocated for that. System dot get size of. Uh, so that is for float. It is a four not bytes. Same way if I am trying to find the value of uh, get size of. Uh, bool, uh, but the memory allocation it depends on uh, um, that is uh, depends on uh, uh, that uh, uh, sorry uh, version also here actually I used the Python 3.9 version so system down uh, there is a maximum size uh, that is for boolean it is a maximum size 
and if you want you can represent like this we are uh, so 28 bytes will be allocated that is a minimum size and maximum size is 408 small correction it is not 402 it is a 408 bytes will be allocated of small correction yeah, please to make a note of it for everything the maximum size will be as 408 and also that the ranges also will be changed side by side according to you can make a changes now small correction it is a 408 it is not 402 so again this not uh, if you want to know about uh, the minimum size the minimum size of one number so 124 it is a whole number so the minimum size is 28 bytes it is not a bit it is a bytes it is a get size so uh, i'm going to try to uh, getting a one floating point number so that the minimum size is 24 bytes will be allocated so even if you want to know uh, that for a uh, so get size of i'm going to use a false so that is a 24 bytes will be allocated sorry um it is a 28 so according to that a convenient it will work uh, so normally it will be in a 28 bytes will be allocated for a boolean and for minimum size and the maximum size is 408 bytes for integer character and uh, strings also um so if you have a uh, string so size of I have an empty string, I didn't represent anything. So that the 48 minimum 49 bytes will be allocated out. So then automatically it will be allocated for the remaining based on the memory allocation. For example, I'm going to represent one character. Say this is 50. Uh, because the extra 49 characters will be allocated for storing this D also. So it occupies only the two bytes of memory from uh, uh, memory 50 bytes. So this is the way the memory allocation will be takes place uh, for uh, first three data types. Thank you.